Boss tells woman to choose between her job and social media, her career nearly shatters into pieces. Juggling two jobs has always been difficult, and most of us we've been forced to give one up in favor of the other. The same thing happened to Adrienne Colzer, right when she thought she had it all covered. Her career was flourishing and everything was perfect, as she found a way to manage her job and her hobby, but she wasn't able to keep her passion covered for too long. Years of hard work would go in vain, as she was told to choose between her passion and her full-time job. How did she respond to her boss request? Adrian Colzer has been serving in the police force for some years, and while noting ever went wrong, things were about to change when she had to set her priorities straight. The police officer was very dedicated to her job, but she had to make a choice and nobody was expecting her to do this. Saying that being a police officer is a tough job is an understatement. You see, Adrian was committed to her job, keeping in top shape and working out at the gym in her spare time, protecting the citizens of Dresden while on the street. One day, she began sharing her workouts on social media and she had no idea things will escalate so fast. Adrian began sharing her workout videos on social media and the attention she received was overwhelming. People were interested in her tutorials and much more. She loved the newfound fame and while her follower base was in the few thousands, more people started following her on Instagram as days passed. With so many people waiting to get any updates from Adrian on Instagram, she began posting inspirational quotes, photos of herself and her workout videos. Instagram became a side gig for her, and she grew quite a fan base. But nobody was expecting to get viral so fast. Then, it all nearly crumbled into pieces. Adrian thought to herself that her job as a policewoman will not clash with her social media presence, so she used her Instagram account as a hobby and worked hard at the station. Her colleagues knew about her Instagram posts, so she thought there was nothing wrong with what she used to post since everyone was encouraging her and enjoyed the content. As we all know, the more popular you are on Instagram, the more likely you are to get contacted by big companies to promote their brands or products. This is an influencer's job and Adrian was happy she was making more money when she was offered big paychecks to just do what she was passionate about. This led to a very strange chain of events. Since she was so successful on Instagram, Adrian felt like she needed a break from her job and she took a six-month vacation to travel the world and recharge her batteries. It was an experience that would complete her and as she traveled, she would still be able to make some money while promoting products on Instagram. So she booked a flight and didn't look back. Adrian was going to be on unpaid leave for that half a year, but the Instagram sponsorships would be enough to let her unwind. Meanwhile, promoting brands while traveling the world was like a dream come true. She would fascinate her fans with photos and videos too, so it sounded like a foolproof plan. But things were about to change. Once she started to travel, Adrienne's fan base grew further and her life was getting even better. It was a different feeling, something she didn't experience as a police officer. The young woman began rethinking her life. Adrienne kept traveling the world and met many other police officers from other countries. One of them was one of her Instagram followers, Ernesto. Cops all over the world followed Adrian and thought to themselves they may visit their city too and give her a tour. Everyone was supportive and Adrian felt so great. Until she got a phone call. It has been over two months since Adrian started her traveling and she got so famous that she was making headline at the news, getting the title of, the most beautiful police officer in the world. Everything was perfect, until she got a phone call from her boss. With so much attention and followers on social media, at Adrienne's home in Dresden, Germany, some people at the police officers were not so sure their colleague intended to continue her police life. This is one of the reasons her boss called Adrienne in the middle of her vacation. As she looked at her phone, she wondered what was going on. Now a celebrity, Adrienne was feeling like everyone had their eyes on her, including the people back at home. This is why she had no idea that the phone call from work would force her to go back to Dresden. What was happening? As she packed her things and booked a flight back home, Adrian imagined all kinds of things. She even thought of not going back at all. Her boss wanted to have a talk with her after she'd been away for two months. It must have been something serious that couldn't be said on the phone. As Adrian got back to Dresden, she was called in the office to have a private talk with her boss. By the seriousness of things, it didn't sound good at all. And as her boss began talking, it was clear what the problem was. She waited for him to finish, but didn't expect to hear these things. 
Everyone had acknowledged Adrienne's new hobby and while some people commented on her social media presence, the first topic of discussion wasn't about that. Adrian patiently listened to her boss and he gave her some good news, but some bad news as well. While Adrian has been away for those two months, her boss explained that he police department was understaffed and would need 1,000 more police officers to cover the entire city. He told her that while she had been traveling, there weren't enough police officers to help keep the town safe, so he gave her an ultimatum. Was this really happening, thought Adrian to herself. She was being told her vacation had to stop so she could go back to work. Then the bad news came. Her boss said that while they needed police officers, she had to choose between her social media presence and focus on her career. And then there was one more thing. If Adrian was going to stay in the police force, she had to put a stop to the inappropriate bikini photos. The higher police department authorities didn't agree with her posts, saying the police officers shouldn't do these things that could shame their department. She had to make a choice and fast. Adrian was given a choice. She had to decide between continuing to work at the police station or carry on with her new hobby that had made her so famous all around the world. If she chose her career, she had to put an end to the influencer life and those bikini photos. What did she decide? We all know that the perfect job should be your hobby, but Adrian was torn apart between her career and her new hobby. She loved both and couldn't reconcile the two. Her hobby was helping her gain more money than her job too. She had to think about it, and she asked for a little time to think it trough. Adrian had years of training and working out to become a cop and be respected by the community. The hours in the trenches spoke for themselves and she couldn't believe how difficult it was choosing between all that hard work and the ability to express herself on social media. She felt like any choice she would make meant losing part of herself. Time was running out and she had to let the police department know her decision. Adrian had time until December 10th to decide which job she will choose. She would start working on January 1st if she decided to stay in the police force. Adrian kept posting photos on Instagram after December 10th and never let her fans know her decision. Soon, they would learn what she chose, declaring, I'm going to work. I'm going back on the beat. I'm putting my uniform on. Reaching a middle ground, Adrian continued to post photos and videos on social media, and kept her job. She had agreed with the superiors that she was allowed to continue her influencer job as long as it was not interfering with her job and the photos represented her and the police force in a more dignified manner. The young police officer was part of the viral tenure challenge, showing people why she was so proud of her body and kept sharing all those revealing photos. She had done a lot of hard work to get in shape and she wasn't ashamed to let people know how far she's come. We think she's a cool woman and we're glad she was able to continue her career and her hobby as well.